So for today, we're going to be looking at seasonal challenges for week four. If you guys don't know, we usually look at the week. So that way you guys are aware of what is up for Eververse and the challenges. So if you guys like to be like, comment, subscribe, I really do appreciate it. Other than that, Acolytes Ascent 4, complete week four of the Bladed Path quest. This is not hard. This is literally the week mission that you're going to be doing later. So just do this. Uh, forgotten power, complete a powerful encounter in Altars of Summoning and defeat combatants using the damage type that matches your subclass. So not hard, obviously, just make sure you're doing the powerful encounter and you're matching your subclass uh, with the damage type. I'm, I sub I'm assuming. Def yeah, so like if you're using a solar weapon, make sure you have a solar super is what I'm guessing this is meaning. Either way, that's not hard. Uh, Bounty Conjure. Complete daily bounties during the season of the witch. Not hard, literally. You can just pick three up right now if you really wanted, and just just complete it. Obviously, pair these two, two together, and it'll be super fast. Uh, master the light by defeating combatants with void, arc, or solar damage. Earn bonus progress by affecting combatants with subclass abilities. Uh, so weak and jolt and ignite are going to be the ones that you're going to be doing. Uh, I would probably say Jolt might be the, no, actually Ignite might be the easiest, uh, just because you can ignite with your weapons, your supers, your abilities, there's so many ways to ignite enemies that for me, I probably will just do Ignite, but Jolt is also easy considering there's a bunch of ways you can ignite the, the ways I just mentioned, but also there's weapons that have uh, Jolt as well. It, I just feel like Ignite, ignite is easier. And weaken, I don't really care for weakening. That weakening. That being said, hunters might have it the easiest, just because we have uh, the girl falcons. So if you are interested, you can definitely do that. But let's go on to the other ones. We already did. Yeah, grandmaster, complete any grandmaster strike on, or complete any nightfall on. <laughs> complete any nightfall strike on grandmaster not hard uh some people might say otherwise but it isn't hard actually i don't know what we'll see what the nightfall is right now but this shouldn't be super hard considering uh some are pretty easy that being said i i think uh, the either way we'll look at what nightfall it is right now uh, last rites get ability final blows and season of the witch activities so you are definitely going to pair this one with these two right here and this one so all these three you can definitely do together just because uh you're going to be doing powerful encounters. You're going to be doing the bounties. You're going to be doing this, and then it's going to be combining with this. So obviously this, all these are going to be pairing really well. So just make sure you're, you're aware of like what abilities you want to do. Again, like I said, I would probably do solar just because it's the easiest and igniting enemies would be super, super easy. So for hunters specifically, well, I'll show you a build that I would do for hunters specifically. And then calibrate close range, calibrate close range weapons, sidearms, submachine guns, shotguns, glaives, and swords. Bonus progress for defeating guardians. So this one is actually even better because I'm going to be like, I'll actually just show you. So for hunters specifically, I would probably do if I have this bill, I should have this, bill. I think I saved it the other day. I did not save it. Okay. Well, I'm, I'd be using this right here. Um, Caliban's hand with a solar build, obviously. And then for the, uh, for the weapon, it would be this one right here, which you guys will see in a bit. Uh, Callus Me Tool. And then with, in combination with the Avalanche that I have, because it has Incandescent. So these two is what I would be doing with the Conditional Finality as well. Because if you guys don't know Conditional Finality, the, the Fire one, well, I'll, I'll just read it to you. Uh, near landing nearly, nearly all solar pellets will ignite enemies. So all of these are gonna be helping me ignite enemies on top of my Caliban's hand, on top of my super that final blows with solar super causes targets to ignite. So that's what I will. That's what I'm going to be running right now, which is why I really recommend it, because hunters have so many ways to like really kill it. And it's not just hunters, but I, for hunters, it's just the more more fun, I should, guess you should say, or I guess I would say. And for Eververse, we have uh, let me change my my look actually before or revert it back because it doesn't look good right now. Yeah, there we go. So for Eververse, we have a few short shaders. We have the Springtide Faint. Um, if you're looking for a good pink, I would definitely recommend this one because it is pretty good. And you do get Lavender as well. I'm a big fan of Lavender. Uh, yeah, I can definitely see myself wearing this, but I would have to get better pieces for it. Probably go for the Lavender, but be aware that the Lavenders are going to be off the off color. We have oiled gunmetal. This is a great uh, shader 
all around like it's a good weapon shader but it's also just a good shader for armor as well get this really cool sheen on the armor right there and it's not even plate armor this is uh, cloth armor so i definitely would recommend this one we have unspun fate which is stasis or not stasis uh strand we have xenothalastic voyage not the biggest fan of this one we have sparrow gateway Does it explode? No. And then for the stuff at the bottom, we have these, not sieve. I was about to say sieve, but that's, what is it? 10, 14, 14 projection. Uh, we have the Aranus SG-1 for the conditional finality. This is the best ornament for the, for in the game for me personally, just because it makes a weapon that's, in, that's symmetrical. No that's non-symmetrical is actually symmetrical so i love this ornament i just got it right now and i'm deeply in love with it i love it so much uh vice cruiser I'm not the biggest fan of this one that being said it is funny like it's definitely like funny i just don't really care for it uh trust worked clipper we have the clean lines shell uh olfactory gesture And then square dance and then for the other shaders spring tight faint again we have seven sisters this is a good shader if you want to go for like a starry look because of obviously this right here that being said i'm still not the biggest fan of it i think the teal is just not that great and the gold actually goes well with it it's just the teal that really bugs me a lot about it uh we have gloam strife i don't remember yeah not a fan of this one it's the orange you know it's not even the orange i think it's the green if the green was a different color i think this would be cool because i do think the orange and the black and all the, all the other stuff looks cool and then bloody tooth which is a dope shader unfortunately i'm i like the red but at the same time i don't like the red it's a good black shader though if you guys definitely want to pick it up so before i forget we do have the flashback season of the worthy stuff this is available for silver only i will talk about the prices in a in a later video because it is kind of wild uh just to show you real quick 15 for just one armor set so 45 in total for all three classes 22 dollars eight dollars ten dollars and then seven dollars so it's pretty gross. Uh, we will talk about the pricing, what I think they should have done, because again, uh, it feels kind of dirty asking players to pay this amount of money for so something that I only pay $10 for. So that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, let's actually go before I forget. Yeah, we're going to be doing this, um, Ada in a bit, but oh yeah, Vanguard. Yeah, totally forgot. Almost forgot, I should say it is europa how oh, ooh, the highest battleground europa wait which one's this one? Oh, i remember this one this one's the uh yeah this one sucks donkey dick bro i i would not do the grandmaster for this one i do, do i remember this one is this still kind of want to like go inside just to see but I don't remember this one being good. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. I will be doing a bunch of content. I am working on the shaders for the season pass playlists, shaders and the iron banner shader, which I got this week. And I'm also working on the armor from the playlist. Uh, the hunter has two pieces. I think it was I have this one and this one. Yeah. I have two pieces of this one the titan has one and the warlock has three so i'm still working on it but thankfully and i should tell you guys this right now that you guys should definitely play crucible this week because it is momentum control and momentum control is super fast that being said you could also do supremacy because supremacy is actually really fun so it's either pick that it's one of those pick your poisons um you can do momentum control because those are going to be super fast supremacy is usually just really really fun and control is just one of those like turn your brain off and do it that being said it does have spmm so that's why i usually don't like to touch control anymore um and yeah momentum control is definitely where i'm gonna be doing most of that so 
definitely go do that because we are going to be doing the armor review the shader review and then the p individual pieces review i also have shorts for you guys i have these shorts for the armor that we did not too long ago so i have a lot of content for you guys i appreciate you guys be safe i will see you guys later